Hi, this is Dr. Payne recording from Tucson, Arizona. Today we have a question from our YouTube subscriber. Let's do an analysis and see how we go about graphing this type of problems. To send your own questions, please consider subscribing our channel. Alright, let's do a quick review and see what's important when it comes to graph hyperbolas. Three things come in mind. One, the curve always sits on the first term. If y comes first, it sits on y. If x comes first, it sits on x. Second is that center is shifted at x minus cx and y minus cy, where the center is cx, cy. Now notice this minus sign, that's really just coming from the distance formula. And the last one is the asymptote box. Uh, the distance or the size of the box is lx, ly, and you read the number of corresponding terms. For our case, one is at three, and that's the y direction, one is at five, that's along x direction. Now notice the square term, be careful, make sure you express it into the square term first. Now to read where our center is going to be shifted, x term is x minus cx, so cx is at one, and notice this since it's plus, it's really y minus minus 1. That's why this minus 1 is over here. The curve sits on the y-axis because this one comes first. So let's uh, grab all those three information that we uh, derived from the analysis and review here and graph this uh, curve we're given. The simplest way I found over the years on how to graph those type thing is is this. Number one, you decide it's going to sit on y-axis, so you graph it roughly, sketch it out first, and then what you do is you find the center, which is 1 and minus 1, without without putting the in the coordinate system first. So you start with the center. We were supposed to move five units along x direction. Here's the five units. Go up three units on y. Once I find this corner of the box, I'm going to duplicate the box out. Next thing I want to do is I want to graph the asymptotes out because all I have to do is diagonals over here. Since the curve sits on y, that pretty much gives me what the curve is going to look like. The last thing I'll do is I'll put the entire thing into the coordinate system. All right, so having putting the curves in there, then I've made sure the zero, zero is such that this point I had before on the center is one and minus one. And on the right hand side here, let's take a look at computer generated graph. As you can see, that's identical. Now, as far as the vertices and foci and asymptotes, those are pretty easy. So next, let's uh, look at how to graph, uh, graph them. All right, so the rest of the stuff, it's pretty easy to find. To find the focal length from the center, we're going to add length on x squared plus uh, length on y squared, and then we're going to take square roots of that. That happens to be a square roots of 34. Now, f notice that uh, you got to start from the center. This just gives us the length, which is square roots of 34. So from 1, we're going to move up. Minus 1, I'm going to add square roots of 34 and on the other side I'm gonna go starting from 1 and then grabbing the minus 1 here I'm gonna go minus square roots of 34 units so that's the full side vertex is pretty easy this is really three units going up from the center and three units going down from the center the asymptote box slope it's pretty easy to find as well it's rise over round so 3 over 5 now to find the asymptote line line 1 and line 2 it's not uh, hard to find Fine. We're going to use uh, y equal to mx plus b form. m is 3 over 5 for long 1, that's a positive 1. And the point 1 and minus 1 fits in this curve. So what I did over here is I substitute a minus 1 for y. m is here, x is positive 1. I'm using this point over here. Or if you prefer, you can use the slope-intercept form, which is here, or point-slope form. Either way, you'll see that B is minus 8 over 5. Repeat the same procedure. You'll see that for line 2 with a minus 3 over 5 slope, the B is minus 2 over 5. All right, so here's a computer-generated graph to verify everything we've done so far. Here's the two asymptote lines. Here's the equation we'll ask the graph. Well, I hope this helps. Hi, this is Dr. Payne recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please comment, share, or like this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.